The Big Blind is a 2020 novella um, by Lavi Tidar, which I actually read in a bind-up of four novellas. But anyways, this one in particular is about Claire playing poker. Um, I'm always amazed how much Tidar can express with such a short and simple scene, with only a brief amount of words as well. Claire is good at poker. Her father, though, passed last year, and that's where she learned to play. Um, and honestly, this opening scene is just interesting enough, but then it gets better as we then find out that Claire is actually a nun. <laughs> um, actually, she, she plays with some of the other sisters after Compline, we learn as well, but with chips, you know, not with actual cash. And Claire plays to help the convent, which gets little money otherwise. This is a secret, and she's not actually quite a nun yet. Not yet, she's just a novitiate. But the conflict is in this secret and also in the money for the convent uh, and also this idea of vanity, which is more, you know, personal for Claire, uh, right? And then, right, because Claire gets a good feeling from winning uh, in poker. But this is tied into the, a poker tournament, a big one, not just at the local pub, and, you know, worldwide attention one, pretty much. The catalyst comes in the character of Mikey, a young bum, according to his uncle. Uh, he's rather good at poker himself and encourages Claire and also seems to have a crush on her. And Claire herself, uh, again, like I said, learned from her dad, who was a legend in the poker scene. Uh, Tidar uses Claire's memory of her father well. Memory isn't something you always have on standby. It's often like magic, evoked by certain components, words, gestures. And the religious piece is well played, particularly where avarice and vanity are concerned, you know, but also charity. I mean, it's all Christian context, of course. The story is set partially in Ireland, partially in the UK, and London specifically. And Tidar has a good taste for the dramatic uh, when it's called for and makes some good allusions, too. I'm not overly familiar with poker terms, so I needed to look up, you know, what a blind was and at all, um, which is a forced bet when there are, um, are two, uh, well, one is a small and the other is big. <laughs> so anyways, the story is short against novella. It gets a little cheesy, um, but... By gosh, uh, did it make me actually teary-eyed at one point. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, this was actually my sixth Tidor book. Um, well, not my favorite I read by him. Definitely very much worth reading. And again, short and sweet. And not the speculative fiction type of stuff I'm normally used to reading from him. You know, this is just straight-up contemporary fiction. Anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.